Good evening, everyone. This is Debbie Wetzler and David Silverman. He's coming from Florida. I'm coming from Colorado. And then there's many people in between. Um, we come together every single week as a team to encourage each other, to hear our wins, hear our victories, hear, hear uh, any issues that we're having, to work together um, to spread the word about ASEA and getting it to people who are in need of it every single day, not just for the virus, but for everything. And so we welcome everyone tonight and we will be making some announcements um, in just a second. But we have a very special treat. Danielle Matthews was supposed to be one of our speakers at Envision this year, which got canceled. And she had an excellent, her mom and I have been helping, not helping, but listening to it. Um, and it's an excellent, excellent um, presentation that I think will help everybody in talking to people. And so I asked her just very spur of the minute if she could do it and she's agreed to do that, which is great. So at the very bottom of the hour, we'll get started with her. In the meantime, um, we can, um, I don't know if David wants to say anything or not. You're muted. I can unmute you. I apologize to everybody that came in and, and needed a password. I've been texting constantly. Uh, we don't know what happened exactly with the system. And so that's my project when we're done tonight to try to figure it out because I'm doing two meetings on this system tomorrow at 9 a.m. Yeah. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern. Oh, no. Yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's right. So apologize for that. And uh, if your teams are texting you, obviously, if you got in, you know the number. Just get it to them. Um, that's all. And then, Deb, I, I really want to get to Danielle. I, I want to do the normal thing that we do, and I want to make announcements because it's a big week and things going on, and, and we want to announce the winners of our contest also. Right. So I think we should do that and, and get to Danielle at the very bottom of the hour. Um, just so everybody knows, we are having the Diamond Leaders got together and we're doing presentations. Now, they're supposed to be 30 minute presentations about Redox and the business, um, what it is and the business part of it. And we are doing it at 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. every single day. Um, it is being recorded. It's being posted right now to ASEA United. Um, if you go there and click on it, you can always get the link to it if you wanted to send it to one of your prospects, because uh, there's always a link. And if you're, so if you're watching it, the link is at the, in the URL, just copy and paste it and send it to your um, prospects if you find one in particular that you really, really like. Um, we're all doing them, and the lineup is in ASEA United. Uh, David has it in there. However, on Tuesday night, Leland Duck is going to be doing it. Um, not, it's not going to be the recorded um, Alan Noble one. So Leland Duck is on Tuesday. And um, so there's some very good presentations this coming week. And we hope that everybody's pushing prospects as you're talking to them. There's live events going on all the time. And then this coming Saturday from 1 to 3 Eastern, we're going to have a training with some of our top leaders going over some very pertinent things that skills, resources, mindset, and more, as David said. <laughs> um, and it's all training that you can do while sitting in your home. We're trying to take over since the Envision, you know, didn't happen so that we can get information out to people who were very interested in coming and then those who were not going to be able to come. Um, so it, it, it's good in that way that it gets probably to more people. So please pass this along to your teams. It should be some invaluable training. Um, and also, as a special treat, um, David is also going to do Ask the Doctor with Dr. Carolyn Hoffman, but it's him this week. And it's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday night. And so you can still get your prospects there also. And um, he will be doing a presentation and then answering your questions as a doctor, which many people like to hear from. He's also doing a presentation tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern for Asia, mostly, but anyone's welcome to jump onto that. Um, and Europe, Europe uses a lot too, so. Right. Yeah, and these, and I put these on here, everybody, in yellow, this is just for our team. And, right. And this is for, for everybody. Um, yes. So I, the, the big change, as Debbie said, is, you know, because, because there's a meeting every, Wednesday night at 9 p.m. 
um, Eastern this, and to keep consistency at 1 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern. Terry Latham's doing this Wednesday. We moved ours from Wednesday night. Every team had to sacrifice something to make this work for everybody. Fortunately, our team call is an hour earlier right now, so we're good. Um, but we did, uh, Carolyn and I, Dr. Hoffman and I, did move ours to 8 p.m. Eastern on Tuesdays. And I put the times in at the appropriate times for the other places. So thanks, Deb. Absolutely. So you have lots and lots of places to push people to this week. So we hope that you are taking advantage while everybody's home. Uh, everybody can sit down a lot of times for 30 minutes at least and hear this. Um, I know Dr. Carolyn Hoffman's was just recorded and someone sent it to her and I just spoke with somebody on my team who had watched that whole presentation and I was very interested in signing up tomorrow. So they are very, very useful. Um, David Silverman and I ran a contest. It was for Envision, um, but we didn't back out of it since Envision didn't happen. We were, we took from February 17th till March 25th. And everybody who enrolled new people, we to told up their volume totals. And so um, we would like to announce the winners and we will be sending out, I'll be sending out the, um, the gifts this coming week to people. And um, so I'm just very excited. Um, and I'll just go ahead and announce mine and then I'll let David announce his. I did it for my team, David did it for his. So here's the, um, here's the flyer for it. So on my team, I'm going to, I'm going to recognize five people um, because they all were so close together um, from the US. So I'd like to congratulate uh, with great enthusiasm, um, Alex and Nolan, Doc Marilyn and Dr. Ed De Los Reyes, Sumner Erickson, Amy Nolan, and Jackie Wetzler. <laughs> um, they did a fantastic, fantastic job. Uh, Do Dr. Ed and Marilyn won the first prize, which they'll be getting, I guess I'll talk to them probably, the money for the, an Envision ticket and 25 samples. Sumner Erickson will be getting 25 samples. He was number two. And Amy Noland is number three. And she will be getting two tubes of Renew 28. And because Alex and, and Jackie were so close, I will be giving them something also. So congratulations to them. And then outside the US, I also had two kind of a tie. Um, Dr. Perla Kwan from the Philippines um, got in with a huge uh, amount of volume. And then, and this is going to be a hot, tough one, Stiti Rohani Maud Romley from Malaysia um, also won. Now, he's, that person is under Amy and Dr. Perla is under uh, Marilyn and Dr. Ed Dalis Reyes. <clears throat> so I want to heartily congratulate all the people that worked so hard and has been spreading the word about this and came in with great volume totals and I'm so proud of you guys and congratulations. I'm very happy to send gifts to all of you. And David, drum roll. Congratulations everybody. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, so on my team, um, the number one um, person enroller was Karen Rambat who went bronze. Hi Karen. <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, this is in North America. And number two in New York was um, Edith Oyangao. Not sure if Edith is on tonight. Don't know. Probably not because I didn't get a message about what's the password. So probably not. And uh, Risa Lynch came in third in North America. Risa's on too. Where are you, Risa? It's, oh, there you are. Congratulations. And then outside of the United States under Sylvie Wilmot was uh, Christine Gaymard. And I don't think Christine is on because it's three in the morning, but um, congratulations, Sylvie. <laughs> <clears throat> so that is absolutely fantastic. Congratulations to everyone. It's fun to have contests sometimes. And um, since you're sharing already, <clears throat> so congratulations. I, I have to say, I had a whole page and it took me a long time to add up everything and look at everybody. I see a lot of faces that were really close. I mean, yep. it, it's uh, it, it, it's a shame that you have to break it off somewhere, but there were a lot of people that were really, really, really close, but congratulations to everybody. Um, one more announcement I wanna make real quick, Deb, if I can, is everybody should go to their uh, appropriate team Facebook group 
Freedom is mine, Debbie's Diamond Club is, is hers. Um, I put up the new infrastructure document um, and I'll just show it to you real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's see when I have it under tools. And no, no major changes except for um, I, I really am highlighting this box right here. I mean, I, again, I'll, on the first page, a lot of people don't haven't watched this video. I, um, video by um, <laughs> God knows how I lose it. I don't know where it goes. It should be at the bottom. But right here, the, this video on orientation. Um, on page two, I changed a bit because of the um, change in the schedule. So you'll see at the top, it still has our team meeting that you're on, still has the charge up call, still has the Tuesday night corporate calls, which will take place even though we're doing the Zooms at, at nine o'clock. So you can still send guests to the prospecting call Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. But here's the ad. This is the, instead of Super Saturday, the Zoomper Saturday that we're having, which starts this week. And down here, you can see these are still the ones that I do with Carol and Dr. Hoffman, Ask the Doctor ones. And then here's the new ones, the Monday through Friday ones at, at 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. every single day, Eastern. And there's the one that, um, that Sylvie does in French. Um, not too many changes here, a couple ads in the tools, not, not a whole lot. But I do recommend, again, I'm amazed at how many people that have been in for a few months they haven't watched these things. And, this training page is pretty important. And I, I just ask that people watch these videos under number one and two uh, before they start. It'll make them so much, uh, such a better understanding of what, of what they're going to be doing. So I hope you encourage people to do that, to, to watch those videos on top of, of the training toolbox page. That's it for me, Deb. Okay. Um, I'm going to quickly um, announce and congratulate people who've gone up and rank, and I'll make it as as fast as possible. Um, I don't mean to cut anybody, but just to, so we can get everything in. Um, I don't know what that is. Sorry, I had it pulled up. Um, okay, so again, um, director is when you talk to two people and they've decided to come in as associates and try the product with you. Um, so you have one person on your right and one person on your left. Our new directors this from two weeks ago are Florence St. Pierre, Leslie Snyder, Liz L Loney, uh, Marilyn Rungslayawaf, uh, Nantuit Rungslayawaf, and those are our new directors from two weeks ago. So congratulations. Um, eventually you do get 300 points on both sides as people are ordering product and you're bringing new people in. So our new director 300s for uh, two weeks ago is Mi Fang Chai, Idol Fishbach, uh, Sarah Peck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Abba Dufal, Sabriel, Ab Hamid. I'll just make it that. Uh, new director 300, <laughs> Carlo James Orleans Gestasi, uh, Carl Joshua Orleans Gestasi, Anne Claire Van Brussel, uh, Paolo Valente, Roxanne Bear, Lourdes Gladys de los Reyes Palenside, and two more, <laughs> Margaret Ziegler and Mallow Jane Corpus. Those are all new director 300s. Um, so there's a lot of people still going up in rank and, and achieving these rank levels. So that's wonderful to see that people are still moving and this time when things are quieting down to some degree. Director 700 is 700 points on both sides. Um, our new director 700s, Zelina, Zelina Tan, Dennis Osbun, uh, Marmalina Holstrom, Jericho Jeffrey, sorry, 
Aon Gayo, Lahandro Borolongo Ayan Gayo, sorry, uh, Marcus Barth Jorgensen, Sarisa Suhong Sang, Natalie Desvalian, Sharon Mysica, Chi Boon Sim, Cheryl Smith, Marie Antoinette Mar Malais, and Irish Guy Naive, Elise, um, Elsa Flory, and Michaela Ruth Mamek. Those are all new Director 700s this week. So again, a big Congrats. congratulations to those people. And lastly, we had several new bronzes again, which is absolutely wonderful. That's the first leadership level. It's 2,000 points on both sides and two Director 300s who have joined you in the business. So Michael Rogel Kwan is a new bronze executive. Congratulations. Uh, Stiddy Rohani Maud Romley, one of the winners of the contest, is a new bronze executive. Um, and that's out of Malaysia. Uh, Luz Vin Casinas Orleans is a new bronze executive. Congratulations. Um, Editha Borlongan Ayan Gayo is a new bronze executive. Um, and Karen Rambat is officially yeah, recognized as a new bronze executive now. So a huge congratulations to all the new people who have gone up in rank and are still working and sharing. And several of them won, won the contest, so they were, they right. were busy, busy. But I have to give a shout out to Karen Rambat because she does fast forwards and she does, does with a lot of, of personal preferred customers also, but associates as well. And her team is just starting to really take off. So congratulations, Karen. Yay. That's the silent clap here. <laughs> <laughs> so we have about six minutes. I would love to welcome any new people that are on our team phone call tonight. And we're going to make an introductions kind of short. You have somebody new, just an, an, unmute yourself and announce that if you're by yourself and your sponsor isn't here, unmute yourself and announce yourself if you would. Debbie, so, yeah, uh, David, I'd like to invite some, oh, whoop, sorry. No, no go ahead, Micheline. Okay, I would like to welcome um, Faith, if she is still on. Faith, you can, I know you don't want to show yes. yourself. Yes, oh. I'm on. <laughs> Hi, Faith. Hi. Could you tell us just a little bit about yourself? Um, yes, uh, I am uh, a therapist, child therapist, and have I'm in private practice. And um, I've just been introduced to the product and um, very interested in it, um, obviously, and, and placed my first order today. Fabulous. Yeah. So <laughs> are you looking at it for a health challenge that you have or for prevention or something? Yes. Uh, I, I, for both actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have a couple health challenges. So yeah, I'm looking, looking for it for that. Well, we look forward to hearing how you're doing and we want to welcome you to the team Thank you. and hopefully you can see us. <laughs> yes, yeah. I can. And Faith, <laughs> Faith, where do you live? I live in uh, Ashland, Virginia. Awesome. Well, welcome aboard, and yes. and you're probably home quite a bit, so you're gonna have a lot of learning entertainment every day. Yes. We have Zooms every day now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No between way. doing uh, telehealth and this, will probably keep me busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, one thing is, it's a good time to mention this: that throughout the whole week, the only ones that are interactive, where people, your guests, can ask questions, are the ones tomorrow. 9 a.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern. Everybody realize that all the other ones are great. I did one last week. It was straight up just presentation mode. But tomorrow at, at 9 a.m. and 8 p.m., your guests have a chance to, to hear about it, but also ask questions. So just keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you. But all the presentations, you could, you could line up somebody in your upline to answer questions afterwards. So you can always call people and get a, do a okay. three-day phone call that way also. That's okay. Great. Okay. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Anyone? Sure. Anyone else have anyone? Uh, I, well, I want to introduce Amber. 
Amber. Amber okay. is in Cancun. Hey, she, she's a, soon to be a new associate, but she plans to enroll soon, and she's really excited. Amber, are you there? Fabulous. Yes, I am. Hi, Hi, oh, hi Amber. Amber. Hi, good to meet everyone. Um, Great to meet I haven't you. enrolled just yet. I'm still deciding on my enrollment package, um, but I'm very excited. I've been learning so much and um, just had so much help and wonderful introductions and teachings already. So very excited. I live in Cancun, and I'm originally from New York. That's too bad. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're we, we're uh, we're taking it a bit easy down here, which is nice. So yeah, <laughs> that, well, as as the whole world should be. But you have a great, great mentor in Ricardo. He is one of the fastest workers I think I know, and Absolutely. so we're here, all here to help you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> Is your family, you have family in New York? I do, yes. Are they all, yeah. are they all okay? They are, they are. They're, uh, they're isolated in their homes and Good. You know, doing that and staying healthy and you know, just yeah. the situation, but good. it's good. They're well. Good. 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 Keeping in good spirits, which is important. Yep. That's good. Well, when you, when you have enough information, just make sure you get your family on this product, okay? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Can really help. So welcome aboard. We're all coming Thank to visit you. You're <laughs> <laughs> <We're> all welcome. <laughs> There's about well, 70 the people on here. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as they open the borders, we're coming south. That's right. Not 70 bedrooms, not yet. <laughs> Maybe when I get to a sea of diamonds. There you okay. go. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome. Who else? Somebody, somebody else somebody had else someone had had one. A person, I think. Well, um, I'm Kate Meyer. I have joined uh, about uh, a month ago. Uh, my sponsor is um, Dr. Trump, Francis Trump from yes. Sarasota. The beautiful yes. dentist, yes. Um, so, and I am uh, transitioning to move uh, to Florida from New Jersey. I still work in New York in hospital for special surgery as surgical tech probably to September, but, and I find this very fascinating <laughs> and uh, I'm very excited to be joining um, ASEA. We're so we're, happy to have you. And where's your accent? Well, I, I would, I don't know accents. I would say I Russia, am from Ukraine. Poland. Where? From Poland. From Poland. Poland. Yes. Welcome. You know, the, um, one of the, what, there are two distribution centers in Europe, I see, and one of them is in Poland. I don't know if you knew that or not. No, I didn't. Yep, we're, we're there. So you can, when you're ready, you can educate people in Poland. They can go to your website here in Florida and, and they can enroll, they can order money back guarantee. It ships to them from Poland. So you can, you can help people back there and you can build a business back there. I was actually talking to uh, my girlfriend and my sister that, still lives in Poland and um, she was, uh, I was trying to introduce her to Asia, but she's also working. So we'll see how that's gonna go. Yep. Well, we and got and lots. Your, your website, your website and, and many things are in Polish. Um, so you can send them your website and it's got everything written in Polish so they can read it. I couldn't find anything in Polish. Actually, it's uh, I didn't know for they had Polish. Polish, everything is in English. I mean, my my sister speaks fluent English, so that's not oh, an okay. issue. My girlfriend, actually, I wanted to introduce her to Asia, and she, I mean, she doesn't speak that well. She understands, but not that well. So I, I'm trying to find something that would be in Polish, that would be maybe some videos, but yeah, I can't I don't find know it. that they translated into Polish yet. No, I don't think so. No. Not yet. Our website? <laughs> okay, I thought it was. No, not yet. They have Romanian. They don't, and they have, uh, you know, they don't, they don't have it in Polish yet. So that's relatively new country. But anyway, okay. well, welcome, Kate. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Yes, welcome. I think, right. I think Danielle is, is, yes. um, is that's in your, your group, correct? Yes. Yep. I've been working with Kate. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Is there anybody else new? Well, 
Well, we're going to get started with <clears throat> our wonderful training tonight then. Um, Danielle Matthews has been preparing something um, and had discussed it with corporate as to what to do and envision. And she's done a brilliant job in presenting. Um, and so I will turn it over to Danielle. Let me and just mention one. Can I mention one thing about Danielle before you do? If you so, should, sure. Yeah. So like those of you don't know, Danielle is a platinum. Oh, and sure. Danielle is in Colorado right now. Those of you who are new, you may have already seen Danielle because if you watch the breakthrough video, um, the, the corporate's breakthrough video, at the redoxbreakthrough.com, you will see her there. Um, and, uh, and you'll see her mom too, who's here, who's a platinum as well. In fact, we're having a special um, call tomorrow. Uh, we have a, a, Debbie and I have a mastermind group with the triple diamonds and above in our upline and cross line i mean you recognize everybody and um, we um tomorrow we're having a special thing for platinums and above platinums and diamonds and i can see the platinums and diamonds are going to be on them tomorrow danielle is the first one to shout back i'm in so um very we're very excited to have danielle on the team and i'm looking forward to seeing her training which i would have sat and watched in dallas um uh, this past week so go ahead danielle Thanks, David. And thanks, Debbie. Um, so I have not looked at my presentation <laughs> since the beginning of the month uh, when it was due to corporate. And I actually had to finalize it on Debbie's uh, computer. So we're going to attempt to allow me to take control of her screen. So give us a moment, Debbie. All right, looks like I have control. So okay, beautiful. All right. Well, um, you know, each of us makes a buying decision for a different reason. And a lot of times when we're talking to our friends or uh, and are communicating about something we like and why we purchased it, or if you're in sales and you're speaking to somebody, a lot of times people use the same logic, uh, the same emotion that they use to make their choice. And for friends, usually that's fine because they you tend to attract people that are like you. Um, but sometimes, and maybe you've noticed in your SEA business, that you might be talking to somebody about all the highlights right of our product or of our business and they just like don't get it it doesn't click they're not interested you see that glazed look come over their eyes or they're like okay fine see you later and it's not i'm not saying that our product and uh our business is for everybody but uh it is true that there are different personality types and different personality types will purchase for different reasons and so what I want to be able to do is share with you all the different personality types. And I want to talk first about why that matters. Um, it is important for you guys to not only get an introduction to this training, um, but also then be able to integrate it. If you learn the different personality types and the different personality profiles, it is going to help you take charge of your business in a different way. Uh, it is something that is going to allow you, Debbie, did I lose my control? Oh, there it is. Oh my God. All right. So it's delayed. <laughs> so it is going to allow you to play and have a lot of fun uh, with your friends, with your associates. It is something that is going to allow you to learn how to approach each and every situation uh, analytically. And then it's going to allow you to support your current team and your customers on the level that they need. And what I'm going to do is just kind of set up for you. Uh, the objective of this talk. So we're going to first understand the four personality profiles. Then, I'm sorry the delay is so much here. I don't know why it is. Then we're going to learn how you can identify someone's profile. And then the most important part is I'm going to teach you how to speak the language of each personality to effectively sell to them. All right, so let's dive right in. Uh, first personality type. These people are known to be very decisive. Uh, they, another word that we use to describe them often, if it decides to populate, is that they are direct. They are usually independent. They tend to be competitors. They're more dominant. They're very results oriented. And they tend to be more formal. The bottom line for them when you were talking to someone, of, oh, sorry, they're also defiant. 
<laughs> that's like one of the like, mm, they can be this way. Not that it's a bad thing, but that pops up. Uh, one of the, the bottom line when you are talking to this personality type is to talk about results. That's what they want to hear. And this personality type, you might have heard about them as the reds. Um, you might have heard them described, if you've learned the personality types as animals, as the lions. Um, the lions are make up 10% of the population. And what, we're, what I'm gonna use, the word I'm gonna use to describe them for the rest of the presentation is these people are directors, right? They like to take charge in a situation. Bottom line for the director, remember, is results. So the next personality type, uh, these people love to laugh. They are very interactive. Uh, they're super friendly. They're enthusiastic. They're inspiring. They're spontaneous. They're usually more informal. They can be a bit emotional and sometimes a little illogical. And the bottom line for this personality type is fun. When you talk to these people, you need to be highlighting the fun aspect of things. Uh, you all might know this personality as the blue. Uh, the, the, I think this is the best animal to describe them. They're the dolphins, right? They're fun, they're playful, they're super interactive. They make up actually 30% of the population, so a third of our population. Um, the word I'm going to use to talk about them is promoter, all right? So our promoters are all about fun. The third personality type is like the exact opposite of the last one. These people are more analytical. They are very calculating. They're logical. Uh, they are thinkers. Uh, they're usually pretty cautious. They tend to seek out knowledge. They can be really witty and may have a really good sense of humor. Uh, they're more formal and they can be completely unemotional, which sometimes comes off as a little standoffish. The bottom line for these people are details. They want the details. You might know these people as the greens. Uh, this is this is a sea urchin, so I'm not the best at finding really good examples of images online, but that is supposed to be an urchin. Uh, they're pokey, right? They ask a lot of questions. It can be a little uncomfortable. They make up a quarter of the population, 25%. Um, I'm going to talk about them as the analyzers, right? The analyzers want details. And so that's what you need to be ready with when you're talking to this personality type. And then you've got the final personality type. These people can be described as givers, they're very supportive. They can be very steady. They're very dependable. Um, they're usually pretty diplomatic. They tend to be more informal. Uh, they're very service oriented, right? They're the first one to volunteer. Their hand goes straight up. They're usually very authentic. They're very nurturing. And um, sometimes they come off as a bit quiet. They don't like to kind of stand out in a crowd. Bottom line, when you're talking to this personality type, is actually team. If it wants to tell you that, I don't know. Maybe. Oops, okay, well, it was team. They're yellows. <laughs> uh, the whale is the, the image that we use. Um, the way I think about the whale, the reason I always remember it is you've got those people, right, that just have the biggest hearts. They wanna save the world, they wanna save the whales, right? So the whales represent them. They make up actually the largest chunk of the population, 35%. And the word I'm going to use to describe them is caregiver. All right, so the bottom line for our caregivers is team. So these are the four personalities. And I actually made a PDF that I'm sure corporate will get out to everybody. Um, but this PDF kind of breaks it down into quadrants, right? So you have your directors, the ones that are results oriented. Then you have your promoters. Um, next, you have your analyzers, right? And then you have your caregivers, the ones that are team oriented. And now that we know what the personality types are, the next thing we need to start thinking about is, okay, how do I easily identify the personality type of someone? And there's actually two questions that you can ask that you could ask yourself right now or think about the people in your world. If you answered these basic questions, you'd probably nail their personality type right out of the gate. And the first question is, do you tend to act and get into action or do you tend to think first? If you tend to be action oriented, you are likely in the director or promoter category. If you tend to think before you act, 
you are likely in the analyzer caregiver category. So the first question is, do you act first or do you think first? The next question, second question, is are they more people oriented or more numbers, bottom line type of thing? The ones that are more people oriented, they are either promoters or caregivers. Those are the personality types that tend towards people. Um, the ones that are more numbers driven, right, probably doesn't surprise you. The ones that want to know about results, the ones that want to know details, there are directors and our analyzers. So what I want to do is kind of take a closer look at each one of these personalities. And we're going to start with the director um, because there's going to be people that you don't know, right? You might be getting on the phone with them or you might be meeting them for coffee and you can't answer this question, right? You don't know if they act or think first. You don't know if they're people oriented or numbers oriented. So I want to talk about some things that are pretty true for directors. Now, if you are a director and I say something that doesn't ring true for you here, don't take offense to it, right? This is kind of the, um, in general, what these, this personality type exhibits. Um, it, when you go to introduce uh, and meet these types of people, they are more formal in their greeting and they will tend to insert themselves and introduce themselves first. In a group, they lead the conversation. They tend to take, take charge in a group setting. Uh, they tend to dress more conservatively and they actually have a lot of name brand awareness. That's something that can be important to them. They absolutely love to-do lists and they love crossing out the lines when they get it done. Uh, they tend to value titles, credentials, tradition. If you're going to their home, so something you can pick up if you walk into the person's home, does their furniture match? Um, a lot of times these people, the bedspread, right, matches the drapes. Um, their yard is absolutely meticulous. And a lot of times when you walk in the front door, they may ask you to take your shoes off, right, to keep, to keep it clean. So those are all things that can help you recognize a director. Um, our founder, Tyler Norton, is a director. This is his personality type. Um, many of you might know Denny Robinson, number two income earner in our company. She is a director. Um, many of you likely know Terry Latham, right? He's got, I think, the largest business within the United States uh, out of Texas. He is also a director, right? These people that you're looking at right here, they're drivers. Just think about their personality types. These are our directors. So those were our ones that were action-oriented but liked the numbers. Next, I want to talk about the action-oriented that really like people, and they tend towards people more. So these are our promoters. What are things you can pick up on to let you know that someone is a promoter? Well, typically they're more informal, right? They might even high five you when they meet you. Um, they are, if you go into a group setting, they're the ones trying to make people laugh. They're the ones that are telling jokes. They tend to wear bright clothing, big jewelry. They like a lot of statement pieces, right? Bling. Um, they can struggle sometimes to be on time. They sometimes can speak without thinking. Uh, just whatever comes onto their mind, they say. If you go to their house, uh, a lot of times these people have pictures of themselves doing a lot of different adventurous things, uh, or if they have awards, they're usually out on display. Uh, if you are in their house or car or near their desk, uh, usually they tend to be a little disorganized and they have a hard time finding things. Um, they do, however, usually tend to have a lot of nice things. These are the types of personalities that like to buy motorcycles and snowmobiles, right? They like to have fun. So thinking about, uh, <laughs> I love this photo, <laughs> thinking about our field leaders. This is Cindy Buck. If you all have ever gone to a convention, the closing party, inevitably, she is dressed in an amazing way. So these are all photos of Cindy from various conventions that we have had, um, she epitomizes the promoter personality, right? That is what it's all about. Our very own Dr. Silverman. Dr. Silverman is 100% a promoter. And what's funny, because some of you heard his talk the other day, what did he talk about at, at Envision? Well, his topic was promoting. <laughs> so he is very good at it, and it's because it suits his personality very well. And then this is Trish Winkler. She is our number one income earner. This was Trisha's person, or, um, Facebook profile photo, okay? Absolutely loves to have fun. And this is, this is her primary personality as well. So those were our action-oriented group. Uh, let's now move into our thinkers. And let's do 
are thinkers that are really into numbers. So this is like direct opposite of the promoter personality. All right, for them, they typically wait for you to make the first move uh, when you meet them. They typically tend to be more reserved into themselves. They can tend to have a neutral facial, facial expression. You don't actually know what's going on in their mind or what they're thinking. They tend to think before and as they are talking, right? They're deep thinkers. They strive for perfection in everything that they do and they do not like to break the rules. Their house is usually filled with furniture from like every decade that doesn't match and their wardrobe tends to be a little outdated as well. Uh, their home, if you were to go into their home and you just looked at what was on the walls, uh, a lot of times um, they have a lot of people pictures, excuse me, they don't have people pictures. It's a lot of inanimate objects is what they put in their home. Um, these people have stacks of everything on their desk, right? So it might look messy, but it's organized chaos. They know where absolutely every single thing is. Now, who are analyzers in our business that you might recognize? Um, actually, Scott Aldred, our, C our chief operations officer, he needs to be this personality type, right? We need someone details driven in charge of <laughs> where our product is going and how it's produced. Um, Bob Schwinkler. So interestingly enough, oftentimes couples tend to be opposite personalities. Uh, you tend to marry someone that has the things that you don't have. So Trish Schwinkler is a promoter 100%. Her husband Bob is the exact opposite. Uh, and then Bo Buck, same thing. So Cindy Buck is a huge promoter and Bo is the exact opposite. Bo tends to think, Bo tends to like the details and the numbers more. So just an interesting thing to consider. If you're finding yourself in one of these personality types, you can think about where your, your spouse is. So that leaves us with the last group, right? The largest group, our caregivers. These are the ones that think, but also tend towards people. So how can you pick the caregivers out? Well, typically they have a very warm, friendly smile. They tend to be more soft-spoken and they'll usually wait for you to introduce yourself. They are the first to volunteer for something, right? And what's really nice about this personality type is they always finish what they start. They tend to wear more comfortable clothing. So that's another indicator if you're just, just meeting somebody for coffee and trying to pick up on who they, what personality type that might be their dominant personality type. Um, these ones, they also think before they speak. Again, they're in this thinking, not action oriented. They tend to avoid conflict. They are not a fan of sarcasm make some uncomfortable. Uh, they like to include other people and they wanna be your friend. Ooh, I have an alarm going off, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, and their home, if you go to their home, they tend to have plants, animals, they have magnets on the fridge. Their home looks very lived in. Uh, and as soon as you get there, they're probably gonna offer you some food or drink right when you arrive. Uh, if they do have animals, they're absolutely part of the family. So who are the caregivers in our organization? Um, some of you might know uh, her. She heads our Advancing Life Foundation. All right, so absolutely epitomizes what it means uh, to be a, care a caregiver. Um, well, so this one I absolutely loved this photo because she sent me a photo with her dog and I went, yep, there we go. Uh, this is Terry Malman. And then uh, our CEO, interestingly enough, Chuck Funky, uh, is also uh, in this personality type, which I thought was pretty interesting. But he's very team oriented. So uh, these are these are our four personality types. And I think the easiest way, if I could give you a scenario that might help you kind of put somebody into a category or remember these, let's say you're moving, all right? And your neighbors come over to help you move. The directors, that's gonna be your neighbor that comes over and is directing everyone where to go and how to get the job done quickly. Your promoter, this is the one that's probably laughing in the corner about something. Your analyzer, they are already out on the truck and they are playing Tetris to make sure every little thing fits in your truck. And the caregiver personality, this is the one sweating, breaking their back, moving things until absolutely everything gets finished. So now I wanna dive a little bit deeper into, all right, now that we have recognized that there's four personality types and you have some key indicators you can use to figure out, look, what style, uh, what personality, 
type does this person have? What I wanna discuss now is how do I sell to them, right? Because ultimately that's what it comes down to. That's how we can apply this to our SIA business. So if you're talking to a director, you need to know that a director will make a buying decision in 10 to 20 minutes. They are quick. So you need to give them bullet points and you need to get straight to the point, all right? You want to be fast. You wanna be very sure of yourself. You wanna give clear options for these people. If you are talking about ASEA to them, all right? Specifically, if you're talking about network marketing, talk about how they can be their own boss. That is going to excite at a director. If you were talking about our company, you wanna talk about how it's a 10 year old company, so it has a strong foundation, but they are just starting to move into mo their momentum phase. A director does not wanna have missed out, right? They wanna be first. Now, if you're talking about the product, you can talk about how it's one of the biggest breakthroughs that we will see in our lifetime, right? That's exciting for a director, that gives them chills. What resources might you use? Well, you wanna talk about the bottom line. The money, right? How much money can they make? They wanna know who is the number one income earner because they're gonna go chase them down, right? That's a director. Um, you wanna give them the summary comp plan, okay? They need to know what the eight ways are to get paid. They do not need all the details, promise you that. Um, so that's our director. Let's talk about next, our promoters, our ones that just wanna have some fun. All right, how do we sell to a promoter? Well they make a buying decision in about 24 hours and you need to follow up with them because they will be on to the next shiny object, have had another conversation, they won't remember who you were and what you talked about. Like you need to be on top of it with a promoter, right? Don't let it linger. Um, you wanna be excited when you talk to them. You gotta be prompt and responsive. They don't wanna be kept waiting. Get to the bottom line. They really don't need much detail. And you wanna discuss the fun, the opportunity to connect with people. That's really what's going to excite them. Now, if we're talking about a CS specifically with network marketing, you wanna tell them that you can work how you want, when you want, with whomever you want. That will excite them. When it talk, talking about our company, you can say, look, this is a global company. So you'll have fun connecting with and meeting people all over the world. When we talk about the product, you wanna talk about being on the cutting edge of the next big trend in health. That is exciting for them, right? Being on the cutting edge is super exciting. What resources? Well, you want to talk about the Ascent trip, right? You want to talk about that you can get paid to go on uh, a vacation. You want to talk about the perks of diamond life and what someone can get when they get to the diamond rank. Um, you want to talk about the convention and you want to talk about how much fun it is. You want to talk about what Cindy gets excited about, right? That party where we all get to dress up and have fun together, right? That it's about the connection. It's about the team. So you can see my team here. Um, all right, let's go to the exact opposite. Let's go to the analyzer. The analyzer, if you're selling to them, they are going to take some time, especially in ASEA, to make a decision. I would say probably no less than a week because they are so detailed driven and because this is a new technology, our analyzers tend to take a bit more time when it comes to ASEA. It's not gonna be any faster than two days, I would say for sure, but probably a week at least. Uh, you want to have your details ready for them. Accuracy of information is absolutely key, okay? If you don't know the answer, don't pretend like you know it. Tell them that you don't know it. You want to have no emotion because they don't, that's not important to them. You want to use logic. Logic is what's important. So, uh, like I was saying, get the answer if you don't know it and tell them you'll get back to them with the answer. They appreciate that more than you trying to BS them. All right, talking about network marketing. Little risk and investment to start a global business, right? Use logic, makes sense. Uh, the company, you wanna talk about how the company has doubled sales in the last two years, how they have proven results with the product in the lab and that it is a patent protected um, so there's no competitors. All right, the product, well, it's a safe product with no toxicity or contraindications that everyone can um, benefit from using, all right? You see this slide has a lot of details, right? They want the details. So when it comes to resources, guess what? They want not the summary gene study, they want the detailed gene study from Torrent Labs. Um, when talking about the comp plan, 
They don't want the summary comp plan. They want that extended version of the comp plan. When you talk about the safety data, you need to send them the safety data. How many of you knew that there was a terms and conditions clause that we all actually sign and agree to? How many of you have read it, right? You're probably an analyzer if you have read it because these people want the minute details. And um, this is a picture of the extended comp plan. So our last personality type, our caregivers, all right? If we are selling to a caregiver, important to know that they make a buying decision in three to five days, okay? Don't push them or you will lose them. They don't like to be pushed. But if you connect with them emotionally and they say, the universe is telling me to do this, this was, God's telling me to do this. If you get an emotional, it resonates with them, boom, they're done quickly, all right? They'll make a decision very quickly. But don't push them or, or you will absolutely use them, lose them. When talking to them, you need to be very kind and very supportive with any questions that they have. Um, you want to be authentic. If you can compliment them, they would love that uh, in your conversation. Do not rush them. Like I was saying, don't push the sale. Be patient because you don't want to lose them. Um, when we're talking about ASEA, so the network marketing industry, you want to talk about how we are changing the lives, how they can change the lives of their family, their friends, and their community. When you talk about the company, align with the company whose mission statement is to better people's lives and be a force for good in the world. That, was, that, that is a warm and fuzzy statement for a caregiver. Uh, when you're talking about the product, help loved ones recapture and maintain their optimum health. Think about the impact you can have on the people that you love. The resources that you want to use, tell the stories, right? They will connect with testimonials. They will connect with people. You want to share the testimonials a lot. You want to talk about our Advancing Life Foundation. All right, that's going to be super, something that they will resonate with in a very big way. So as I said at the beginning, learning these personality types, they're going to help you take charge of your business. For you directors out there, that was the statement for you. It's going to let you have fun, and you're going to get to play with this. For you promoters out there, that statement was for you. Uh, this is going to help you to know how to approach every single situation for you analyzers. That statement I made at the beginning was for you. And for those of you that are in the caregiver category, being able to support your teams on another level, right? Um, I created a PDF document that corporate will somehow, we'll figure out how, we will get it out to everybody. But the PDF document has every single thing. How do you identify each personality type? I put it on there. Um, how, what are the, the key phrases for the different personality types? How do you sell to them? I put it on there. Um, what are the resources that you want to use for the different personality types? I absolutely put it on there. Sorry, this is moving so slowly. Um, so we will get you those things. Again, corporate is having me record this tomorrow and get all the stuff out there. But what I want to end with is just this thought, guys. Knowledge isn't actually power okay applied knowledge is power learning this does absolutely nothing until you start applying it until before you get on and you 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 buzz in the three-way call when you're getting on with your expert you say look this person's a promoter all right we need to talk about fun with this person you need to apply this knowledge if we on three-way phone calls if we knew as an expert going into the call the personality type of this person if they're an analyzer we would be ready for that right and so what I want to do, if it lets me, I don't know that we're going to go, is I want to challenge you to profile 10 people a day. And I want you to do that for the next month. I think that that is going to allow you to really be able to master this concept. So uh, Debbie, that's I think I'm still controlling your screen. Sorry, but that is the end of that, and I ended right at right at nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, so much for your 18 minutes, but that was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I haven't practiced it. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Hold on, let's let's un, let's unmute fabulous. everybody so that we can hear their how what they thought about it. Hey, thank you. Hello. Wonderful. Excellent Thank job, Danielle. Danielle. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you. 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 Thank you
here, Danielle, because I've seen it many times at this point, and I just, every time I see it, I love it, and um, I am trying to apply it, but it's a little hard being cooped up <laughs> in the house right now, not being able to see or do anything with anybody except on screen, but it's absolutely brilliant, and I'm so happy that the corporate will, will I'm sure, get those pieces out to all of us, because those would be very helpful to have and just to keep going over. Well, one, one thing is also that you, you can do that because what Danielle's talking about is, is we can go through a profile people that we know and we think about who they are and their personalities. That'll help us when we go to reach out to them again, you know, because, you know, when someone, unless someone says, no, don't tell me about this ever again, no just means not now. But if you get better at, at maybe honing in on, on what's their hot button and what makes them tick by this, I think, I think we can do a lot of it while we're home. And actually, you know, it would be helpful. And Danielle, for, for everybody that's here that may think, wow, she's got her stuff together here. How much network marketing experience did you have before you came to ASEA? None. None. So how did you learn all this stuff? Because, because you just keep yeah. owning like give people resources. How do you learn from people, from events, from books, from courses? Yeah, I, this is an integration of probably five different personality type trainings that I've been through all had different. So um, my networking groups, BNI International um, does training on different personality types. I went to a, uh, a training with another network marketer um, that talked about personality types. Um, I made a really good friend that ended up being a mentor of mine and he trained me on personality types. And then I just went online and like took personality profiling type things like disc and other stuff um, to learn my own and then realized how powerful it is when you apply it. So yeah, this is like four years in the making of me studying in different capacities, the different personality types. It, it just was oh, not over. <laughs> oh, and but what about other things besides just just anything with network marketing because you knew nothing about it how did you how did you get to the point where 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 you you get it i mean you're always learning but you have a confidence you have you can articulate it and considering you were a biology major and you were hit by a drunk driver and and really had some deficits where you are now for new people that are here what did you go to to learn network marketing not just specifically personality types yeah, I read a lot of books. So my thought was, look, I don't know anything about this industry, but I went to an event. First thing I did is I went to Envision and I saw people that had had success in the industry. Everything I had heard up to that point, right? It's like folklore, right? It's just about making money and no one makes any money, and but they'll tell you you can get rich quick and blah, blah, blah. And here I was meeting you, David, meeting Debbie, meeting the Bucks, meeting Alan Noble. And I made a point to go out and talk to these people. And um, they they were all real people that had made it work. And I said, okay, so the model works. So now I just need to learn it. And the first name that I was told was Eric Worre. He's a really um, big trainer in network marketing and he has a book called GoPro. And I listened to that book three times and I just started applying everything he said. I said, this guy's had success. Like, let me get my own ego out of the way and like humble myself to say, I don't know what I'm doing. And um, let's learn from somebody because if I can have success in this industry, it can be amazing. And so since then, I've just, this is what I always ask. I always ask people that have had success, what books did you read? What did you do? If you could have changed anything, you know, going back 10 years, what would you have changed? Because I don't know anything and I don't want to make the common mistakes. Um, so I've just basically tried to be a sponge and surround myself with people that have had success, um, and learn like your book books, I mean, are the way to do it. And now God, there's so much online and a lot of network marketers are offering free training because all of us are stuck at home. Um, so just search it's out there. Awesome. And what category would you say you are before? I'm like a chameleon. <laughs> I think that uh, I used to be an analyzer. I've changed, and that's it, that's what one thing I've learned with personality types is um, different different positions stretch you in a different way. I would say, you know, caregiver was kind of more where I was, but this industry and over the last four and a half years, the personal development I've done it's pushed me more into the director category. Um, so it's kind of fascinating, but I do have the caregiver tendency, which is like they're opposite of each other. Um, but that's all in me. Well, you can. There's everybody's like blend, right? I mean, mm -hmm. rarely do you find 
somebody that's just in one. But um, <clears throat> yeah, you peg me pretty good. <laughs> is there any question david <laughs> yeah does any anybody have any questions before before, before no i said go? because i want to jump on i think the whites are doing the presentation right now aren't they yes yes they are discoverasia.com I, I just would like to congratulate danielle it's so amazing to see uh the evolution and it's it's extraordinary, Danielle. Um, I'm, I'm not your mom, but I will be your mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we know each other, but it's, it's such a delight to see this explosion, this uh, personal development you went through since the time I know you. It's, it's, it's warm. Oh, I don't know if it's a word, but anyway. <laughs> Thanks. So. Agree. Before we end, Danielle, look at all the comments in the chat bar. I know it's overwhelming. You guys are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a great presentation. So thank you. Yeah, and so you're going to be recording. They asked me to do mine this week also. You're doing yours tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So all the people who are going to speak at, at Envision are doing their own, like I did the promotion one last week. I'm just going to do it a little more professionally. Um, but they're all going to be available to everybody. So just tie into what's going on this week, everybody. Great presentations at 1 and 9 Eastern. I'm doing tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern. Bring 